Blair, and welcome to the Loaf of Bread GA podcast, slicing into the GA of the past, present, and future. Join me, Jason Keelan, as we cut into the largest loaf of bread known to mankind. On the second special episode of Loaf One, we travel north to the county of Fermanagh and to Kenoli Brian Brews GA Club. But this week we delve into an area of the club that is very new, as I chat to Emma, Pauline, Gemma, and Anna from the Gaelic for Mothers and Others GA part of the club. We chat all things Canoli, the all-stars of the club, going to Roaches for the crack, Pauline dominating midfield, the truck and trailer, playing the likes of Derry Gonnelly, husbands taking training sessions, and asking the question of just how holy are Gemma's trousers. But first, as always, let's take a trip to find out more about the Gaelic for Mothers and Others and the history of Canoli, County Fermanagh. On Sultos. The Gaelic for Mothers and Others initiative is an innovative way to introduce mothers and other women to play ladies Gaelic football. Mothers often drop their kids to training and call back to collect them, but the Ladies Gaelic Football Association wanted to change that. And so was born the Gaelic for Mothers and Others. The initiative sees women playing ladies Gaelic football in a fun, non-competitive and social environment. Although if you've ever met the likes of my aunt on the sideline of a Mostrum or Longford game, the words non-competitive are not in the mix. The initiative has proved hugely popular with women of all ages and has taken off in all 32 counties. Ideally, the LGFA ethos of the game suggests non-competitive, but in many ways, after a taste of it, there is some elements of warfare involved at times. At home here, my old GA club, the Downs, were one of the original five in the county of Westmeath, along with the aptly named Mother Blockers from Churles Pass. But much like the idea of getting GA clubs globally on, like I am at the moment, they get little recognition. We often forget that there are many for whom the timings or commitments of GA are simply out of reach for various reasons. So the Gaelic for Mothers and Others initiative is a great way to encourage involvement and help create a social side that for some might be difficult to get elsewhere. But don't take it as something that's just there for the crack. Coaching webinars, training, blitz days and ethos and registration are all part of the clubs, just the same as any senior team competing at the All-Ireland level. Of course, once the club exists, the opportunities for events are endless, even an in-house all-star awards night among others. The village of Canoli in County Fermanagh is the home of the four ladies I chatted today. Emma, however, is originally from Sligo, but lives in nearby Swanlambar, County Cavan. She suggested this episode to me as we used to work together when she made the very short two and a half hour daily commute from Cavan to Dublin and then drove the same back each evening. She really is some legend. Kinoli GA is officially Kinoli Brian Brew GA. Brian Brew himself was a famous Irish king who first took over Munster, then Leinster, and soon proclaimed himself King of Ireland. His main rivals were the lads up north who didn't agree with him being king. After arguments and smaller fights came and went, it was the widely remembered Battle of Clontarf in 1014 which saw Brian's end. Although his armies defeated the combined Norse forces and the Irish lads, Brian was killed along with his son Marcad and grandson Torvalach. Essentially, it was kind of like an amalgamation GA match where half the county joins forces to battle the smaller club, although at Clontarf, up to 10,000 died in total. Brian was a hero and seen as the one who freed Ireland from the foreign invaders. While the Canoli GA team also has its own strong historical place in the Gaelic Athletic Association, it's 1904 that is listed as the date of their inception. However, it was in 1888 that the first evidence of GA in the area existed, between the famous Brines and Clunes of Lisbelaw, and indeed evidence also exists of a team known as Kinali Sons of O'Connell being registered. The team still competes strongly in County Fermanagh today. Anyone who likes their GA history, I'd recommend reading the history of the club on the Kinali GA website. It's far too much to cover here, but certainly an enjoyable read, with much coming from a book called A Gaelic Tradition, A History of the GA in Fermanagh by Fergal Cleary, a book I definitely have to try and get my hands on. For the Gaelic for Mothers and Others, you will hear the ladies talk about it more, but safe to say, crack, friendships, participation and skills development are the key aspects. But with over 196 registered Gaelic for Mothers and Others teams in Ireland, and some, like Canoli, now producing junior ladies teams as a result, the future for the initiative looks set to grow even further. 
Could the non-competitive aspect disappear perhaps? And would Canoli be one day fighting out in the Gaelic for Mothers and Others All-Ireland Final in Crow Park? That would be Emma Cronin's dream come true. So for now, I'll let you find out about the crack in Gaelic for Mothers and Others with the ladies in Canoli, Brian Baru GAA in County Fermanagh. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jason. Hi, Anna. How are you? We're fine. We're from Canoli. Emma's buddies. Oh, very good. How are you, Gemma? How are you doing? Not too bad. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Gemma. Hello, Anna. Hello, Pauline. That's our buddy. That's our other buddy. <laughs> uh, look at you. Oh, my goodness, you're, you're really showing off the Canoli. Well, she, had to, she had to show the pitch or something to be proud of. <laughs> Is not on. She's the host. Like, oh, she, she? she's coming in here now. <laughs> I'm debating whether to let her in or not. I, I, I was. Going she's to always late, Jason. She's, she's always late. She's always the big song of the hour. After working with her for long enough, I know how late she normally is. So. Oh, Jesus! I hope she wears her jersey. Well, Emma. Emma's in stitches. I I'm not. I'm here. <laughs> you got the hair done for us, Jesus. You're some doll. Nothing to me. I'm all professional. Look at my picture yeah. and the crest. Yeah, I am yeah. so yeah. professional. Gemma is more professional than the clothes I've had on from around the world, to be honest. Show uh, your, you should show you them show your hoover. Show them your hoover. The hoover yeah. I don't think I'm I've ever seen you clean in my life, Emma. It'd be interesting to see you. She doesn't. It's, she doesn't. It's a wee dot that runs around her floor. She doesn't even hold it. She programs it. Jason, yeah. this is my life. Welcome to Cap. <laughs> No, no, for mana. Oh, for mana. <laughs> for mana. Yeah, but I live in, in Cavan. <laughs> are, are you officially for mana now? Have you have you crossed uh, crossed over completely to for mana? Yeah, the kids? yeah, we've adopted them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ! Start That's video. Would that be it? There we go. Well, I suppose if I had to pull the lad up. <laughs> yeah. That's what you always have to do, Anna. Well, well, that was, at my that age. Was, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great, oh, lads. Yes. I'm off anyway. I'll talk to you. So, but look. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, we'll so I've, got, I've got Anna, Anna, Pauline, Emma, and Gemma. Is that right? It is. It is. Right, yes. Yeah. Lovely. And what? Uh, what's the jersey? Gaelic from others What's the what's the club? What's the actual club's name? How do you pronounce it? Kinoli Brian Baruz. Kinoli Brian Baruz. Kinoli. Uh huh. Kinoli. Yeah. Tell you, yeah. Emma, is that is that far from Swanland Bar now, or how far is it? How far? No, far? same far. All right, really. Yeah. Oh. Swanland Bar. Yeah, just once yeah. in Cavan, once in Fermanagh. Over the road. We bought it on through Jason. Right. I, I knew I knew she travelled a fair distance down to Dublin every day. I didn't realise how far it was, maybe until I've heard now that it's basically you need for to Mana. Come and visit me. You to come visit me, Jason. You've been promising it yes. hasn't happened. I I drove, I told you the day I was at near enough to Swanland Bar, and it was only when I drove out of it that I thought, oh Jesus, it's where Emma lives, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was I was uh, I was trying to I was trying to get out of it as quick as I could and then uh and then I, I said after she's a better uh, text her now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry. Um, I'll get up that way sometime. I uh, see you with a football. I I've she's... heard, yeah. I I've uh, yeah. I read the national papers and uh, there was articles about mm-hmm. her kicking football. So um, <laughs> yeah. I've I've heard. Canoli all star. You know, Jason. Canoli all star. Yeah. Canoli yeah. all star. Yeah. That's right. me. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. I have to. And this is from improving from your days of beating the shit out of the sixth class in our school. <laughs> Oh, you may tell some more secrets. Yeah, we used, to, we used to play the sixth class children, and it was a level <laughs> playing field when we played sixth class. Like it didn't matter if they were like ten years younger than you or fifteen years younger than you. It was great, and I couldn't <laughs> play football. I couldn't Most play years. football. I didn't know. Yeah, since you've left, things have changed a little bit. Oh, um, she's a complete all star now. No yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. become it's a, bit t- a bit tighter, a bit tighter, and a bit closer. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it is. Yeah. Jason, did she tell you the story about her new jersey? No. Go on, Emma. Go on. Gemma's really good at this story. You go on, go on, missed Gemma. it. You go missed on, it. Gemma. Emma was so <laughs> tough. Shut <laughs> <Chuffed. laughs> up, Emma. Emma was so tough to bits. <laughs> And co- coming down Jason. the tree, and then one yeah. night, I just like Gemma, she was like, "Hold on, I said, can you mute? You can mute and team. You can't mute in this." 
coming down to train on one night and she was all oh look got my jersey got me jersey got me jersey have you is this is the jersey on you uh she went oh she got it and she spelt the whole thing wrong on the back of the jersey <laughs> It was only a few letters. And it was only a few. It was only go for a month. Right. <laughs> he actually Emma. wondered why she a school teacher. School teacher, yeah. You and want to defend yourself, punch, took, off, took off the hoodie and everything and paraded. And then she turned the back and we were like, Emma, uh, I think you got something wrong in the back of that jersey. <laughs> oh, Emma, do you want to defend yourself here? <laughs> I am. I'm going to defend myself. It's not happening, right? We were, <laughs> I was down to my last. 100 euro. And I said, <laughs> you've been to the So, <laughs> I spent the entire night researching what size I might be. And that was the most important thing. So, after that, then I decided I like, personalize it. <laughs> so, Gaelic four, the number four, mothers and others. <laughs> but I did, it didn't dawn me that it was the number four. So, I just put Gaelic F. G F M A O. I was like, I was so proud of it. I should have worn it actually. You should have and, worn it. Um, yeah. I arrived. I arrived at football training, and I was chuffed to bits. I took off the top, and I was like, "Oh, look at my new jumper!" Yeah, I was the laughing stock, Jason. It was horrendous. The entire football field, which contained the entire Canali team, was looking at. That's making our school look bad now as well, since you can't feck and spell. Um, Hello, my, my name is um, Emma Crowden and I live in Swan Lombard and I enjoy playing Gaelic for mothers and others. How did you get from, uh, Gemma, I suppose, where are you from first originally? I'm originally from Listener Ski, but I crossed the bridges, as we say, and married a Canali man, so. Yes. <laughs> so They're delighted I'm here. with that, yeah. I'm just over the moon, so. <laughs> Um, yep, so in Canoli, what I'm in Canoli, 12, 13 years, so now, so okay. well, officially, and I wash the jersey, so I'm part of the community now. Okay, that's, yeah, that makes, that makes you one of the main people in the community yes. completely, yes. And Emma, tell us all about Swan Bar for people who don't know where the hell it is. <laughs> Swan Bar is a beautiful, picturesque village in West Cabin. It is bordered by Fermana and Leitrim. I teach in Leitrim. I commute. It's, it's, it's a rather handy little town because you can get from Leitrim to Fermana in a matter mm-hmm. of seconds. True cabin. It's great, really. Great. <laughs> That's handy. We have, we have a Leitrim person teaching in Chapel Lizard now as well, a Leitrim footballer. So uh, uh, Declan Tiernan, he's, oh, don't ask me what the little club he's from is called. It's, I'll think of it after. You should probably clue. know Emma, since you follow all the year. But the, 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 the school I teach in is Football Mad, just like Canoli, and it's Aha Willen. So shout out to Aha Willen, Football Mad. Okay, I know, I know Aha Willen. It's definitely not Aha Willen. It's a very small club with about five letters in it. I'll think of it after whenever <laughs> whenever I remember it. And uh, Anna and Pauline, where about he from originally? Or from in the school, by the looks of it. <laughs> We're we're from Con- from Canole. We just All live right. actually right beside the football pitch, we're so uh, very convenient. And she's a mature person's wife. My right. husband is the chairperson of the club, and <laughs> I have five <laughs> sons who play football. Right, five who play football. Jeez, okay. Five, yes, they... I, I obviously take my skill from them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what kind of level do the what kind of level do the sons play? At? Well, I'm uh, well club football, senior football, and some of them play for the county under twenties. Oh right, okay. And what what's the second name? What names would I be looking out for in a few years? Uh, O'Cahan. O'Cahan. Okay, so let's keep an eye. Right, yeah. definitely keep an eye for them. And uh, I presume you have something to do with the school since the two of you are in a the school there at the moment. Anna, um, Anna runs the local the little treasures prime uh, little place treasures too. preschool. Which is okay. absolutely and fantastic establishment. Absolutely. Where Gemma, Emma, and Gemma's children have come to me over the years. I am healthy club officer in the, our local GA mm. club, and the Gaelic for Mothers was one of the initiatives from the healthy club. And on our first night, we had fifty-five ladies come out onto the pitch from all ages, stages, abilities, and sizes. Wow! And had any of the <laughs> fifty-five got GA experience before? No abilities. <laughs> No ability. So we had a ma- it was unreal. 
sorry, 50, 54. <laughs> It, it was it was brilliant. It was uh, it was all we couldn't believe the crowd that landed up the first night. It was fantastic. And one good thing about it was there was a lot of people that was married into the area you knew. There was married to footballers and local families and that. So it was a lovely get together and meeting place. And the crack was mighty. Yeah. And what's it been like more, since, uh, since more laughter than football? On. Well, we had the clo- stop since COVID because um, mm. the only way you couldn't use the pitch in that. Mm. So, um, and uh, some of our ladies, that, uh, younger ladies, have gone out and actually started up a junior team in Canole. Wow. Okay, I didn't, yeah, I didn't realise it. Yeah, I didn't realise you'd expanded I, I for that. Yeah. Emma hasn't made it there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Gemma, Gemma, how did you get involved then as well? Yeah. Uh, I just have seen that um, post through the Facebook, through the club, mm. and I thought it'd be good to get back out. And mm. obviously, I'm a mother of three young boys and um, just to find something of my own to do, I think, and then get to know more of the ladies, as Anna said, that is married to club members that you wouldn't necessarily get chatting to every day. And mm. for, for the fitness, too, and headspace kind of thing, just to get out and burn off some steam and just have a bit of crack. And then, sure, I was dragged along with Emma, too. So Yeah, and what's the, what's the competition like? Is it... Is it more oh, there's of a no competition or... at all. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <some> matches. <laughs> it's meant to be a non-contact, enjoyable. <laughs> okay. Oh, we going we go, for leather? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we go to Roaches or local after? Okay. About, what so happens in Roaches stays and Roaches no. Roaches <laughs> is there any any Gaelic from others and others teams around you at all, or is it just you in the area? Oh no, there's um, four, four clubs, five clubs now. Okay. Because of COVID, it's late starting. Yeah. And do you get to play games against them or is it purely a among yourselves kind of thing? No, we went to Derek Onley and Adam C. Adam C. and Ben the Leck. Oh, yeah. And a skillin. Yeah. A a new town. Two. New town's got one as well, haven't they? New town. Dona. Do- Dona, 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 Dona oh. yeah. And what, are, what are the games like between you as in. Like the fire crack. crack. That's got for to say apart from apart from great crack, yeah. Yeah, yeah yes. Some of the younger <laughs> yeah, no. people are very, very good. Not a okay. bit. There's one a, a, uh, Miss Pauline O'Catlin sitting beside you, midfielder, no bother. Okay. Poor, run run rings around any young doll. Deadly, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Emma Emma Cronin, where do you fit into this uh starting team? Everybody well, gets a torn Jason. <laughs> Somebody has to fly that flag, Jason. It's me. What's oh, what's yeah. the flag you're flying? The everybody gets a turn flag. <laughs> I remember I remember you've been a stellar, a stellar player on the pitch against the sixth class for years now. I, I think there's more in you than just <clears throat> flying the flag. Uh have you have you not I know it's good crack. I love do you know what? I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant crack. But what, as far as um, I, 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 yeah, I, ju- I just, yeah, <laughs> it's just tricky to, to run for that length of time, you know. <laughs> so I look, it's, it's, it is great crack. It's a workout. Training is a workout. It's brilliant fun. Um, but I'm not really good at it. <laughs> Uh, neither was I, and I, I got away with being absolutely useless all my life. So you are the you are the best at it. It's... I didn't join Gaelic Mothers and Others to become an all star. <laughs> really, I didn't. <laughs> I think it, it, it's I didn't. Did. It's the problem about meeting people and having the crack, and I and I've had such crack. I mean, horrid crack. You'd not believe Jason. Do you know me? I like the crack, but it's a whole yeah. other level. Like okay, I didn't think you had another level to be honest, but anyway. <laughs> I know it is. It's, it's, it's something you have to. I don't know. Especially to meet people in the area, like Anna said about meeting families, and I don't know. I think you you spend a lot of time on the sideline looking at children doing matches and bringing your own mm. kids and horsing them. But to go out, as Gemma said, do it for yourself. It's brilliant. It really is. It's, it's, and, it's brilliant. Uh, crap and Jason, Pauline's husband would have took us. He was our coach. So okay. yeah, was, uh, the crack now with Donica and uh, I'm sure the, the Pauline's nephew was the other coach. Now there will be days that me and Emma make a tongue like we're five year old children because we weren't listening. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> but the 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 crack is mighty like it is and you know there there is a serious part to it too which is enjoyable mm. too which is the fitness and mm. you know like and what was I, I always get it wrong ladies but what is it it's the trucks and trailers is it the, what's the oh, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I, I don't know if you ever played trucks and tra- it's a trucks and trailers it is if you ever played it I'm telling you don't play it with yeah. Donica because if you don't get it you're in big trouble <laughs> <laughs> and then and then when he switch and then when he switches it and you have to go the opposite way. Come here, that's just <laughs> there is no momentum at yeah, all. She no, confuses me all the time. <laughs> truck and trailer is a truck and trailer is a, a rugby um it's a rugby movement. It's not actually made there, for GA, that's so. what we've been doing all along. Yeah. But no, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Jesus, it is the height of crack. Like you thoroughly, and you you get a good workout out of it too. Like you do get a yeah. good fitness. Well, truck and trailer is basically yeah, from a line out when you catch a ball from a line out, and essentially you make like a, a roll and scrum. That's basically like a truck and trailer. So oh no, our truck <clears> and trailer's <throat> not like that. We don't make a scrum. <laughs> right. <laughs> we probably end up in a scrum, but we don't <laughs> make a scrum. <laughs> No, it's, oh. uh, but it's um, oh, geez, it's curly. It's, it is it's squarely messed at the minute. Like it's until mm. we get it back up and running again. Like, but it, it was. I find it very no, even therapeutic as far as yeah. going. Yeah, yeah. The plans, laughter. Um, we there was um, yeah. a match Sorry, one man. night. Match one night in the field up above. Sorry, there was a match one night. Um, a local club up was playing up above in the field, and um, one of the men got out of the car and he could hear the laughter. And he was wondering, we were in the bottom field, and he was wondering what was going on. And they landed down to see what was in the bottom field, but they said all they could hear was cackles, cackles of laughter. And he was saying it was fabulous to listen to the hear. Mm. <laughs> like, mm. We have went out to, to uh, their local theatre also for a night. We went out for meals. So, oh, okay. um, and it's kept, yeah, it's lovely. It's really good, and it's get to know people, and it's lovely the next yeah. yeah. I'd recommend the old post in now for a good feed. That's the next one. <laughs> Definitely, I'd recommend that for a good feed. Now they do a good dinner, and they also do a good, they do a good second dinner as well. Yeah. I think Gemma we has we... a pair of trousers. You know, you're welcome what? down to it. But Gemma, what? Don't you have a pair of holy trousers? For the old right, Gemma. Yeah. No, I don't have holy trousers. They were falling off me because the last thing in the waist was gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was it's very, it's very, <laughs> very hard to catch a ball when you're holding up yeah. your trousers, Gemma. I, yeah, I, and I then I had, so, to, yeah. I had to try and then put the old jersey around and tie it like a belt. I didn't know your lad. That Derragon Lee club ring chat's going to come definitely up now. Uh, Cronin so it is. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I think that could, be the, that could be the tagline for the podcast here. You know, it's hard to play football when you're trying to hold up your trousers. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind, but I just bought them. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, I. Because that's what it's all about, having the crack. Yeah. And the GAA is about having the crack, yeah. maybe. But it I is, know, it so is. it's about community and it's about fun. And it's about, it's, it's just about togetherness. So yeah. I love that tagline, Jason, you go with that. Yeah, to catch a ball, hold up your trousers. Well, it is, like, because, like, or the story... my dream I... is always to be part of the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that Emma's one, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the middle Do you not of think I've made it though? Do you not think I've made it? You have. The moment, the moment that you have made it. Yeah. We were in the Derragon yeah. Lee after having tea and sandwiches and she came over to me and she goes, Gemma. And I was like, what, Emma? I am. This is so cool. I am so happy. I'm actually part of the ga. I was going, what? I am I part am- of the ga. <laughs> I was going... Emma, don't let anybody hear you say that. It's good. I, have, I know what, what you go from. Like, when, when I was younger, we played Come and Munskull, mm. and everyone plays in Come and Munskull, and I didn't play it then. I stopped playing it, and I think then when I went back to it when I had my own children, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, here I am again. This is great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she made county standard, Jason. Definitely oh, county yeah. standard. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, when I taught the older classes in Ottawa, and we all so won a coming a month school medal, and I was yeah. their teacher, but not not their trainer. But it was their teacher. Yeah, that's all about the teacher, though, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. No. We did, we did win the soccer after you left. Now, I know it's not the GA, but we just thought we'd throw it in there. We did win the Dublin soccer for the first time in our history. So that was, a uh, again, you missed out on that, Emma, because you fecked off back to Cavan. So, you know, it's not, <laughs> nothing to do with us, I'm afraid. We, 
Not we can do about it. Emma, yeah. I honestly think Seamus O'Rourke should make a song about you or a poem. Emma, I, would, I, would I honestly think Seamus O'Rourke. Seamus O'Rourke. Seamus O'Rourke. Seamus O'Rourke. He needs to compose a song about the guy and Emma and the last star. Yeah. Play, not oh, playing for Lisa. And only because of COVID too, she would have on the awards night, Canoli Awards night, she would have been got a big prize too. Only oh, there actually, there yeah. actually was a Canoli Awards night. Oh, we do, That's yeah, we have, a, we do, yeah. we have a prize night, yeah. And God. she would have, been, she would have got all star you know, beer, yeah. Jason, Jason yeah. will know this more than anyone. Yes. There's one thing I want more than regards to the GAA is for somebody to write me a song. To sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I have so many <laughs> lyrics for Seamus O'Rourke as well there that I can are. give him, like, yeah. to do uh, with, like... the rest. <laughs> like, you can put in the second verse, but the first verse would be, like, ambulance, green card, wedding stories, <laughs> been a psychic, all the great things that Emma brought to us in Chapel Lizard over the years. I, I think uh, <laughs> they'd all have to go in, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Pauline, I'll have, to, I'll have to ask you as well, how did you get landed in midfield? How did I get landed in what? In midfield. Pauline! Pauline is our star midfield player. Because nobody else would do it. Ah, uh, Pauline. Ah, uh, no, Pauline. Oh, Pauline's brilliant. No, Pauline. She's brilliant. very She's competitive. competitive. Yeah. Okay. Very. And you, but the worst, the, the thing I hear most about is when a referee accuses you of put, pushing somebody in the back. I hate when that happens, Jason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, yeah. and how many times has that you happened? Want, to you? Which the accusation? Is yeah, I was caught <laughs> once. <laughs> So you're very good at it. You've only been caught once. Is that basically what you're saying? I've only been caught, yeah. Yeah. She's um, gifted. Okay. And also, Jason, there's a yeah. third sister that plays too. Marie plays too. So very wow. competitive ladies. Okay. It should be over the 50s rather than the Gaelic and mothers. Not a bit. Well, come and here. If I was as fit as you at 50, then Daddy wouldn't need to be out, I'm telling you. And the she three is. sisters. There's companies about 160 or 70. <laughs> we fall into the category of the others, not the mothers, the others. I tell you, you don't, as Jim, after saying you're, you're 50, is that what you said? You don't look a bit of it now. Oh, so, 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 <laughs> playing in midfield. Plus fat. Ah, here. Playing in midfield. There. That's yeah. it, Jim. I know. Your okay. mothers keeps you young looking. Okay. I only yeah. do goals. Yeah. Okay, you're like me, so yeah. <laughs> No, Pauline actually ran rings around a 30 year old woman, a 38 year old woman, and uh, Pauline ran rings around her. And what Indeed, is like uh, Gemma? Gemma, hold on, don't tell me. And, now, and, and, me and, in she, trouble. and she was a county player one, in her day as well, the doll that she ran rings around. She was well fit to keep up with her, no bother to her. <laughs> wow. And who is yeah. the club you're, who is, is this in a match like among yourselves or is it against No, it was amalgamated no. between, no. Rusle, who was it, Rusley and Antrim C, amalgamation between Rusley and Antrim C, wasn't it? That was a very friendly match. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, Definitely I'm, very friendly. We That's won right. that match, didn't we? We did. We won. Okay. Yeah. They said we didn't. They but said it was a draw, but we knew we won. We won. Do you not have referees in the game who can actually tell you who won or what's the crack? The referee was married to the midfielder that uh, Pauline was uh, marking. So, uh, okay, it's one of those one of those type of games. We get a few of those down in the Midlands yeah. here as well. So, uh, yeah. do you remember uh, Gemma? Do you remember your first game playing? First time you togged out. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I remember because I had I had because my father be a real scare man, so I had to take a picture and. All I could show him was the Canali socks, and he was like, "You're disowned." <laughs> so it's like, okay, <laughs> okay, no, no bother. To landed down three blue now socks, jersey, wide, wide hipped leggings, <laughs> and she's still washing them. And I'm yeah, still so washing. I'm washing the junior men's jerseys. Yeah, apparently it makes me part of the community. Fair play to it. And Emma, do you yeah. remember your first game? <laughs> Um, I do. I remember. I remember being in the dressing room when they told us to get ready, and I came. I was already ready. I I was. I woke up that morning in me frock. <laughs> <laughs> I I drove to the place and it was at half seven in the evening. I drove in my football boots, so I didn't need to get ready. So we arrived in the dressing room and we all had to get ready together. I was ready. I was out on the field before anybody else. I was there, and I think at the time he, he counted, I and he split us up into two teams and put one team playing one half of this other team. Do you remember that, Jamie? On one half of the pitch and the other half, and 
I yeah. couldn't believe it. He, he had, like, he had split the teams evenly into two. So everyone was getting a match, but all I, I didn't see that. I didn't know that at the time. So I thought when he picked me, I said, Jesus, he must think I'm good now <laughs> if he's picked me. So <laughs> do you know what I, I do remember though? And I have I, I, I I'm not gonna do this very often when we start back again, but I came up with the technique, Jason, it's actually a really good one. There was this other player, and God love her. She was lovely. She kept apologizing when she bumped into me. And she was really good. Like she was well able to get the ball. And they put me up as a forward, I think it was. So the ball was coming up high, and I was thinking, Jesus, no, I'm she's going to get this without a doubt before I'm going to get this. But the whole team were looking at me, expecting me to take the ball and bury it. So when the ball <laughs> came near her, I just I just went, ah! She lost the ball. She, I terrified the life out of her and she's afraid to go for the ball. So that's one technique I have. And another technique, actually, you didn't ask me about my technique, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> I, when I get the ball, I basically start screaming profanities about asking me to let go of it. So if the girl, if the, they'll call me, like, I'm a pass, I'm a pass. I just politely say, no, I'm not passing. I have the ball for the first time in the match. So that's what I do. And I eventually I end up taking it. I don't think it's, I think it's as polite as that. I don't think it's as polite as that. <laughs> no, it's more like, I'm never letting go of this ball. <laughs> or you come charging. Ah! Yeah. The funny thing is, I can I can picture every bit of that. That's yeah. memorable. Yeah. memorable yes, yeah. That, yeah. That's when the rugby comes in to Gaelic yeah. football. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Pauline, do you remember yours? Is it as uh, is it as dramatic and extreme as Emma's? No, but one of the funny things is how we come how we come about to get our own jerseys because we arrived down to a match in Ben Malek and somebody had bought the under ten jerseys for the mummies and others to wear. Now you should have seen that for a wow. tight fit. That just didn't work. We were like, do not be taking pictures. Oh, Jesus, I have the picture of you putting it over your head and my phone, Emma. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna need the people. Oh, yeah, I have, have to, send to send you that, that photo. Yeah. I have to send you that photo, Jason. Yeah. Oh, it's Matt, Matt. <laughs> yeah. We need something new in the staff room in the school. Well, you know, yeah. We are putting them on, as Pauline said, and we're sitting going right. I know I've had a couple of children, but Jesus, these are like, and you had to keep pulling them down. Hedges. It was a holy terror. It was a problem putting them on. It was a bigger problem taking them, them off. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, we got that into them. We got into them. <laughs> that wasn't your first game, Pauline. Hardly was it? <laughs> no, I think that was against Ben Malek. It was our second game. All right. Yeah. Do you remember your first one? Yeah, but I just have fond memories of that event. It was funny mm. in the changing rooms. The first game was in Derrigan. You know, we were all nervous and hyped up and anticipating it. But we were—you have to remember, Jason. We are used to standing on the sideline, and mm. we're used to discussions with referees so it was a it was a big thing to be on the field and, and a new experience for us but it was amazing once we started in our competitive level especially Gemma there oh competitive doesn't have a word <laughs> it kicked in so, yeah cat. yeah and once once we get over the first five minutes and our hearts started to stabilize we 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 done our best and would you would you have been the kind of uh, mother who would have been shouting a uh, shouting a referee from really sidelines was. or Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Sure. It's, it's getting to the stage I sit in the car and talk my way right through a whole game. Because <laughs> nobody, nobody can hear me in the car. <laughs> That's all part of the excitement, though, isn't it? Uh, shouting from the sideline. I, I wouldn't be encouraging you to get in the car. I'd be encouraging you at least keep the windows down in the car if you are going to shout through it. So. <laughs> 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 and uh, Anna, Anna, do you remember your yeah, first one then? I do. And we first again, Derek Onley, and uh, I, I wouldn't have been fit. And I says, I decided I'd volunteer to be water girl. So I was fine. And about 10 minutes before the match, I was promoted to medical. And just about two minutes before the match started, I was promoted to do goals. And I thought it was Cluxon. <laughs> See, when I was going for everything. And I found that day and the adrenaline comes in and we laughed and sure the ball went in so I just picked it up and picked it out <laughs> you were brilliant that yeah. game, man I remember that game 
oh well yes it was quite good <laughs> it wasn't good in the next one but <laughs> that's brilliant though that uh that like he just went oh, straight yeah, we from about oh, yeah. water girl to yeah. Cluxon. <laughs> yeah that's uh, Cluxon. that's quite that's quite the jump in uh in ga terms it normally takes players potentially about six years one day that. Yeah, it takes about six years to do that normally. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, I did it in six minutes. <laughs> that's pretty class. I like I like that one. Yes, is there? Um, have yeah, you noticed, yeah. Gemma, much of a much of a, an increase kind of in Gaelic games for the women around the area since the the mothers and others started? Well, as Pauline hmm. and Anna mentioned there, that uh, since the mothers and others, uh, some of our to be younger ones have actually went into the senior ladies hmm. now and, and created a junior ladies team now as well. So um, a lot more have got back out. I think a lot more, as I said, mothers seem to have got back out and enjoyed it. Do you know, mm. the whole experience, getting out back playing, reliving their youth. And um, especially with Canales, uh, mothers, brothers, very, everybody got on like, and everybody mm. got a game. And, do you know, there was no issues or anything. It was real great team camaraderie and um, just fantastic crack. Like, Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, it was, I'm not, it was I'm not what was needed, for... like. Yeah, I'm not great for the kind of serious questions, but is there, because all, all you hear about it is it's all very positive, but is there anything, since it's been around for a while, is there anything you would change about it to improve it? I uh, Doing laps in Canali Hall. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so many. Especially if you open your mouth and then the coach fucking made, made you. <laughs> Keep going and going, and they kept blaming you. <laughs> and said to the rest of the team, you can thank Gemma for the laps, and then you, you near puking. Or what was the other one? Squats. Squats too. Oh, yeah. Squats, yeah. Oh, squats are a bag of shite. Who makes you do squats? Oh, oh. Pauline's husband. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Here, Mrs. McKenna, your husband's not much better. <laughs> he makes us run laps. <laughs> Paul, or, uh, Paul, or Anna's husband would help out if uh, Pauline's husband had to go away, but he's he's as bad. That's what I said. I said, that's why I got to do laps is because I said, <laughs> bring back Donica. So Donica took it that he wasn't as tough as as Anna's husband. Okay. So he, he made sure that I lived to regret saying, okay. bring back Donica. <laughs> so the, the two main changes are no laps, no squats. No laps, no squats. New coaches, by the sound of keep it. Your no, mouth no, shut. The, no, the coaches are brilliant. It's just keep your mouth shut. Yes, Anna, just shut your mouth and do what you're told. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't, you don't get punished. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> and what's been a uh, what's been in, Emma, Emma, in Emma, the main the time you've had? Um, I uh, look, it's, it's the crack. It's it's meeting people, and uh, it's not even winning. Like everyone loves to win, but the the crack that you have on the field, bellowing at someone else to take the freaking ball off the opponent. It's great crack, like, and the shouting mm. and. I don't know. Just do you know what? It's just, it, the whole thing is just about being together and having the crack. Hmm. And, getting and, roaches, thinking, and getting to roaches. Getting yeah, to roaches. And you know, I think starting anyone who's thinking of starting it or looking to get like I don't know in Dublin where the where the local one is close to where you are in Mullingarjay or even in hmm. Chapel is it? But Jesus, if there's if you could start it at all, do it. It's horrid crack. Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine from waking up in the morning to play Jerry Gonley in the socks? In me canoli and us playing in Croke Park. Park. Oh, you'd definitely Ooh. live your dream, boys. I tell you, you got to live Sam Maguire too. You've been glad. Yeah, Croke Park is all well and good, but until you've until you've played a match in Cusick Park and Mullingar, you haven't really lived. So, ah, Park. Jason, come on. Well, you could Jason. organize in a challenge match for us. Yeah, Jason, no bother, Jason. Jason, you have to remember, Emma does think big. One night there was a a meeting in the in the local hall where there was. Uh, <clears throat> allocation of funds and we had applied for funding to buy buy uh, jerseys others and others jerseys mm. and I was sitting in front of Emma <clears throat> and she tapped me on the shoulder and she says all we need is a contact and I says what are you on about you um, Emma she says all we need is a contact in San Francisco and we could play a challenge game out there <laughs> <laughs> did your sister not work out in San Francisco or am I wrong she does, but she, we just need, as I said, we just need a contact and we're there. Do you know? I mean, the well, sky is the limit. If the group of people willing to do it, and you can do anything. And I think that's the good thing about it. And I oh, think yeah. that's the, do you know, what, if, you, if you all, I think, I don't know. 
I think it's great. Um, 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 is the fa- um is the face of mother fr- mother's brother and yes. Connie. So yeah. And you should get a picture of her with her jersey on it. Yes, you are. Yes, yes. We put it on our tea- tops next time. Yeah, yeah. She's the old okay. star. Okay. Uh, I know Jason is basically a when the math cost because I can't freaking play. Well, I, I I would beg to differ. I have, I have first-hand experience as an outsider. I have first-hand experience of you playing playing soccer, and it was yes. it was impressive to say the least. Um, now the sixth class taught you were shit, <laughs> but I thought you were class. So. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, no, I did. I, I always rate you very highly as a footballer. As as a <laughs> hey, players, transfers all over the place. You have more transfers than Robbie Keane has in his life. Jesus Christ! Will you pick a second county? Will you? Nobody actually wants me. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere oh, once you just won't sit in one place for long enough. We've kept all. you this long. You're staying. You're not going yeah. anywhere. We've kept you this long. I think so. Yeah. Gemma, um, had you uh, much experience playing before you joined the mothers and others? I would have played back in when I was about 15, 16 for listening ski on the and okay. obviously then the teen years it teen years teen year hit and then it was all about going out. But no, I would have played back in the day. But she married played. a footballer. I married a footballer. Yeah. He still thinks right. he can play, but he can't play if this is going live. He can't play. <laughs> <laughs> we all marry footballers. We all. He's actually the. He actually takes the junior team and helps out. He's a, what okay. is it? He's a selector <clears throat> for the senior team. Um, um, I didn't know your fella plays uh, plays football. Is uh... he? He. he uh, we got goals for, from Santa last year. He plays them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Ty just hammers the ball past him. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. And uh, where, basically, what, uh, I'm the yeah, only star in my family as well. Okay. Right. I thought I thought Hannah Cronin was the, the footballer in the family. He always said that she was a great player. Oh, Hannah's gonna love that. Hannah never played football in her life. <laughs> You're not saying though she was the favorite child. <laughs> She never got to play football, bless her. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, I should actually tell her about that place in Dublin that has it. She'd play. Hannah's my younger sister by 10 years. She's, yeah. she's sound as well. She's, a, she's the soundest one in the family. And uh, Pauline, <laughs> Pauline, what did you uh, play before you joined the Mothers and Others? I've never, never played football before. Wow. Never played football. Uh, when I was younger, it was always camogie. Right. And then for a num- number of years, nothing. So when Gaelic and Mothers started, I thought, why not give it a go? Because I would do a bit of running. So went out and started. And uh, as Gemma says, ended up in midfield. Then, and uh, what was the camogie like when you were younger? Uh, it was only local, small local in bad fields and hmm. no transport to go to matches. So it was hmm. that's a long time ago, Jason, a long time ago. We're not telling you long. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so start the first time... Uh, First play, time out with the Gaelic and Mothers was the first time playing a match. You know, other okay. playing out, out with, playing <clears> with the kids. So, yeah. Okay. Well, bad Maybe feels. Bad out, feels like yeah. Mogi. Sounds sounds traditional GA to be honest. So yeah. you're you're well used to it. Yeah. Sounds forty years <laughs> ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna, what, what's your previous career like? Again, I never played Gaelic football. It would have been okay. just uh, Camogie would have been our game. I married a footballer, so I had no choice but seeing him. And is so, he any good of a footballer? Um. He wouldn't have been too bad in his day. He, can, he talks a good game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> no, he would have been good in his day. He would have been a county player too, so he would have been good. Okay. Certainly. <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, I didn't realize I was. I was talking to such a uh, high esteem in the Gaelic from others and others, and talking to a lot of uh, people who've married county footballers as well. I didn't realize I was getting so uh, do- double the. Uh, no, well, he would have played in the Ulster final in 1982. Yeah. So yeah. what's his, what's Mar- his name? Marrying a county footballer doesn't make you a good footballer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh McKenna. <laughs> oh McKenna. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to check him out because yeah. I, lo- I love my history and stuff, and I love my GA history, so I'll definitely yeah. have to. Uh, yeah, he, he would have played in the 82. Uh, from Anna team that um, played Alma in the Ulster final. Okay, that's gas. You're not actually. Well, no, I have no choice. If I, want, if I needed a court at the end of the night, I had to go to all the matches. <laughs> yeah. You're not a. You're funny enough, you're not the first for Mana people are actually randomly. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of it now. I was thinking of I talked to him for Mana. Uh, Patrick Quayle was the for Mana goalie for years, and he is now. 
running and plying his trade in the new St. Finian's Vancouver GA club. So if you ever need a Gaelic from others and others out abroad, there's <clears throat> there's a club out in Vancouver with a Fermanagh man in charge. So um, you can All definitely... Right. Good chief, chief flight, British Air with fly you directly there. Yeah. Yeah. He's originally from he. Where I know his uh, family. Yeah. His, his Better start family fundraising. <laughs> yeah. Where Where is he from originally? His uh, well, his granny and all would be from Listen Ski. Right. Okay. So I'll have to. I'll have to let him know. Listen Ski. I'll definitely have to. I'll probably forget that. I'll have to listen back and remember the name <laughs> of the place. So I tend to forget. Um, I have to ask a couple of last questions to you as well, uh, Gemma. Have you got a club song of karaoke yet? Emma has. Emma has. <laughs> Emma has. Emma has. They don't. She I'm does. waiting on you to write it, Jason. Chairman, Chairman, so work is writing your poem now. Not you did a Roaches one night. You sang in Roaches one night. What did I sing? No. <laughs> was it Emma singing it or was it my tune? Oh, maybe it was yours. No, no, we're not doing my tune. Emma was singing. <laughs> what was your what was your song? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> go on, Emma, sing it. No. Ah, go on. I hope. Hold on a second now, Gemma, until I come up with a way of them. Um... Twinkle, you know twinkle. Way, you know, do you know the way I go? I wake up in the morning with football socks on me? Um, I can't even remember the trade of thought, Gemma. I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle what? Twinkle, twinkle, what? We did have a karaoke night. Remember the jukebox in Roaches? Yeah. You were oh, doing... we do. Gemma, Westlife. We do. We have the Westlife we do. number. We do. We do. the Westlife number, yeah. Okay, which one? <laughs> when you're looking like that. Okay. And which he normally sings it first? Gemma. Uh, Gemma has a mild obsession with Shane Filan. Um, what other questions had for you? I ask every club uh, because this is one the lads said I should always ask this question to see what the, the division in Ireland is like. But uh, Anna, are you more of a Marty Morrissey fan or a Des Cahill fan? We Marty. Okay. Yeah, and uh, what's the other one? Des, Des Cahill. Okay, he's right. Uh, <laughs> I can be half and half. Uh, what about you, Pauline? <clears throat> Marty. Marty. He's, like, he's a good dancer. He's a good dancer. Yeah, yeah. Pauline likes dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take that. Gemma, are you Marty or Des? I'd have to go with Marty. Marty, she's poor. Des getting an awful raw deal this, uh, over the last... Very popular wee man, isn't he? Four months, okay. yeah. And Emma, are you Marty as well, or are you going to go for Des? Oh, I am, of course, <laughs> indeed, yes. Not surprised at that, I suppose. Right, jeez. Uh, poor Des has got about two votes, it's out of about 150 people at this stage. So poor lad, I kind of... I have to stop asking that question. Sorry for me. Uh, the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one, the Gemma, who's your biggest rival have to be the mix between uh, Brookborough and Antrim Sea. We'd have to <coughs> rematch to make sure that we yeah. clearly... Their, their manager actually was ringing looking for a game. Mm-hmm. So there you are, Gemma. Up for the match? Up for the match. Is I might go and referee that with myself. <coughs> There'll be some crack. <laughs> I, might, I might have to, yeah. I might have to go and referee that one, especially if you were fecked over the last time by midfielders outlet or whatever <laughs> husband referee in your last game. I think I'll have to I'll have to go up and sort something out. So, uh, and is there, uh, Does that mean my husband will have the referee this time? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I, I think it's about time the tables, uh, the tables turn, Burned. definitely. Um, yeah. And would you, uh, Emma, would you describe your team as a, a hand-passing team or a long-ball team? Drive it anywhere. Just reef it. <laughs> just get, yeah, just, just, I, I don't know. What would we, I don't, I don't, I can't a bit, of both, a bit of both, a bit of both, a bit of both. To Gemma. A bit of both. Okay, a bit of both. Yeah. So you're you're kind of like Westmead on a on a normal day. So yeah, sort of a bit of both. Yeah, I'll take that. And is there a Gemma? Is there, if I start with you, is there one thing over the next year or so when COVID goes away that you'd like to achieve or see improve in the mothers and others apart from your squats and problems with all that stuff? Just to get back out and get back at it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Prepare a trouser. Yeah, <laughs> invest in a well. <laughs> Yes. Okay. We send you up a bit of elastic. We have some elastic around here. I'm sure we send you up. Uh, a bit that, that's what the problem was. There was none. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Just make sure it's knicker elastic. 
Okay. I just right. have to get a. I just have to get a pair of shorts just to reinforce. <laughs> Okay, I have to, I'll think about that one, so I'll see if I can suss out a pair for you. And uh, Pauline and Anna, what would you most like to achieve or see happen in the next year or so with the Gaelic for Mothers and Others? Possibly more mothers coming out. Not necessarily mothers, but others that have never played football, just to come out for the, the community spirit and the exercise and the fun and their night out of the house. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Emma Crone, I'll leave the last word to you. So what's the... What's the future for like for Kinoli, Brian Baruse? Oh, I think everybody needs to um get out what 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 Paulie said. Um it's brilliant crack. And anyone who is <laughs> thinking you have to be as fit as a fiddle and you need to, you know, and, and know have the skills you don't, because I have neither. And as I'm up for an all-star, so you know. <laughs> You do realize that. that you do realize this all star story. I am adding to the list of Emma Crona stories that I have, like, and I will be telling this <laughs> seven and today. Jason, yeah. yeah. so, when we have the prize night, we will send you the video for Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to go and visit Swan Labar and Canoli. If Emma Crona wins an all star, I want a photo with Emma yeah. with the all star. That's that's the no next bother. thing I do. I'm going up to visit Canoli yeah. and I'm going to get a picture of Canoli. <laughs> Now that I've seen the pitch in the background of your picture, Gemma, as well, it looks quite nice. So uh, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing yeah. pitch. It looks it looks like a nice nice view in the background as well. So Emma Crone, I'll be in Swanland Bar. We'll have the All Star. We'll go better, to the old... Jason. You yeah. better. We'll go to the old post and have a seven course meal. I might eat all of it. You might need any of it. But uh and, and, and he... Emma, you need to bring him to Roaches. Sure, we bring him to Roaches. <laughs> for, the, for the for the full experience, you need, yes, need to bring him. Yeah, well, I don't mind. Yeah, I'll yeah. start up with roaches and see what see what the crack is like. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> yeah, before uh, roaches is the best crack. Oh, it's, it is a part. The That's the second tagline. Roaches is the best crack. Right after you That's need to pull up your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. So uh, look, ladies, I have to say, huge thanks for coming on. I didn't ever expect to. Uh, to do a podcast with the Gaelic for Mothers and Others, not that it wasn't, it was on my radar way down the line, kind of, because at the moment I've kind of been swamped with the the clubs around the world. It's kind of taken off a little bit more than I uh, expected. So if you're on the Instagram or any of that, sure, find the old podcast and give it a like and share it around Canali and even some of the Cronins might like it as well, which <laughs> it's Lego. Might, might or might not happen. I don't know about that. But, uh, <laughs> she, she could like it too. I tell you, if Shane Fyler wants to come on the podcast, I'll talk to him. We don't even have to talk about GA. Well, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll write the questions. Yeah. You can, you can <laughs> come on, you know, I'll just sit in the background and moderate and make sure that at yeah. some point, if it gets out of hand, that I'll just have to kick him off the chat. Yes, exactly, Jason, yes. Yeah. And it probably um, would. It or probably we could would. go down, or we could go down to Slag and do a live broadcast either. Well, we could. Actually, idea, yeah? I've, since COVID is over, I've, oh, invest, nah. I've invested in my live microphone now. So uh, we'll meet you there. there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll definitely all see you there, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been class having you all lads. I'm probably now tempted to get a few more of the uh, you were kind of the benchmark to see what the mothers and others would be like, um, to do a whole kind of thing on it. So, um, if I can edit out uh, most of Emma's stuff, it'll probably be very good. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm joking, but uh, before I let you go, just um, Jason, you should come down and do a live at one of our matches. I should put it back, shouldn't I? That would be an experience oh, to say, wouldn't like, it? Honest to God, you could do... You could, you could, or even better, or one of our training sessions. Okay. Ah, uh, here's Sean. And Gemma Martin here in the corner as she desperately attempts to squat as the coach <laughs> shout at her. <laughs> I can see it now. Live commentary on training. I can see it been a thing. Uh, I think there could be a new trend in the yeah. GA commentator. You might, you might have to get a, um, a to relive <laughs> that ambulance story if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and in the other corner, Emma Cronin. I Emma say Cronin I'm already yeah. Yeah. I say. And in the other corner, Emma Cronin just strokes her all-star <laughs> award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it happen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's look. Uh, I have to say, a big thanks for coming on. It's been uh, it's been some crack. And um, will you give us a whole a whole loaf? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'll give you a slice. Okay. That's, that's They're just called slices. That's just, you know. How, you know, how did you get the name A Loaf of Bread? What is that? Uh, if you want to Google uh, or YouTube after, the greatest speech ever in the history of the GA was made by Paulie O'Shea. And it was made about five minutes down the road from me here when he used to manage Westmead back in 04. And in it, he talks 
there's a guy on the team at the time when we won the Leinster title. There's a guy, a corner forward called Alan Mangan. He's only a small, he was a great little footballer, but Pody was doing his usual speeches where he gets, you know, gets them riled up for the game. But basically the speech is known in the GA as the grain of rice speech, because in it, there's even like memes and stuff about it, about, you know, grain of rice will tip the scales, blah, blah, blah. But there already is a podcast called the grain of rice in America on some shite. I don't know what it's on. But um, but I thought the other my favorite line from it is the loaf of bread because he turns to Alan Mangan, the player on the team, and he he just turns to him and he says, "Alan, in the last game, he says you you were fucked over the line, fucked over the line like it, fuck a loaf of bread and fuck it over the line." And I went, "That's exactly what the GA is all about." I said, "That's the line I'm going to use." And there's a mam um a mam in our school drew the logo there that you can see in the background. She's uh-huh. a graphic designer. So I thought this is all just me scribbling down shite on paper one night, and uh, it took off from that. So it's um. February, March of major. It's four months old today. Um, the podcast. And oh it's, uh, wow! Who beat yeah. you, Jason? So it's kind of taken off. But other than that, yeah, that's kind of where it came from. Jason. Yeah, it came from that, and uh, I have to say, big thanks for coming on. It's been great crack. And uh, Jason, just when you refer to the loaf of bread, did you ever hear this shit sandwich? I've never heard in that. No. no, it's when you're when you're out with a say, for example, an underage team, and you tell them they were brilliant. But you were shite. And then at the end, the other end of the sandwiches, but just weren't too bad. You know, it's, yeah. you ever hear anybody referring to this shit sandwich, you know what it's all about. OK, so I'll have to remember that. That's definitely one I'm going to use in the future, uh, the shit sandwich. Uh, but look, other than that, it'll be on YouTube, it'll be on Spotify, it'll be on Apple Podcasts, whatever it is. So, um, yeah, and if you can spread the word around it, sure, if anyone wants to listen, they can. And if they don't, sure, fuck them anyway, who cares? So. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yeah, look, I, I let you go, lads, and I'll talk to you again soon. But uh, thanks so okay. much for coming on. Great job, thank, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. appreciate it. Mind yourself. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. 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 Coming up next week on the Loaf of Bread GA podcast, we cut into our next slice. Not too bad. How are things? You're not recording yet. No. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I am. I'll put you in it. Don't worry. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put, it, don't put it in anything. I tell you what, she won't, won't be the only one with him starting the video and Bob and Bangy. That's a guarantee. <laughs> right, I'm fully clothed. Hello? Oh. Mine is dialing in there now, I think. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> You're still on, on the Zoom call. It's half six now. It's half six. Half three, half 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 that's bad form from a referee. Knocking the pitch in time. Maria's here talking to Jason, and well, I look, I look, I just say about me that one of us made a comment that Jason said, Maria, look, I'll, I'll include you on this video. And I said, you be the first woman to be on the video, Bangy. What's that? Oh, Kira, I wasn't including you in that, Kira, now, in fairness. I wasn't including you in that, Kira. <laughs> Well, Jason, this could go on all night. Oh, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike come on, log in there. Wally's here and we want not to go. Is Wally online yet? No. No, he's not. I'm going to send him. You can only get him to log in here. Yeah. You haven't done that, have you? He's not in there. Right, Baggy, check. See him out. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know his wife was listening. For fuck's sake. That's late. Too late, though. No, Here's no, a... no. Enjoy. I will. Oh, the suit and all on by Mr. Ward. You're not oh. there, lads. Look, it's coming, coming up now. Look at the pair Good lord. <laughs> on our final slice, slice 21, we blow the final whistle with referees Barry Kelly. Ken Gunning and Niall Ward. So don't miss that this Thursday from 9am as we finish off Loaf 1 of the Loaf of Bread GA podcast before Season 2 GA Global begins in early July.